What's on the menu today, buddy? This month we've got old news. Microsoft has just brought 1,300 retro games directly to Xbox. Unboxings. There's obviously a need to. One for... Me and one for you. Yeah. Retro memes. This is the new version of Snake for the Nokia. And your homebrew projects. I love the keyboard as well. Yeah. Thank you, Devin. We'll also have your nostalgic photos. Welcome to... The Retro Show. No need to whine. This is episode 29. Oh, oh hello, Chip Dippers. Chip Welcome to the, the Retro, Retro Show. Show. And yes, I still have a baby inside me. And yes, I've still got the 80s inside me. And. <laughs> so. Five hours later. Later that day, the Fractics welcomed their little girl into the world. Mummy Fractic and Baby Fractic are happy and healthy. Daddy Fractic is now Daddy Frantic. Five hours earlier. Now, of course, Retro Recipes and the Retro Show uh, has this lovely logo sometimes, which appears on an old, apparently boring TV, uh, an 80s TV. Mm -hmm. And I was strolling the web, browsing the web, whatever, surfing, um, and I came across this new website. So look at this. It's called my80stv.com. You choose some categories that you might want, so commercials, for example. Uh, turn on the power. And it just plays and plays and plays. Oh. Um, try some trailers. I love that the dial's moving. Oh, I did. I didn't even notice that. Some drama. Ooh. Time and you're fresh out of choices. <laughs> so, what no, can no you lie, do? that came straight up. It was the first thing oh, that yeah? came up. What are you, some kind of magician? No, I work for the Foundation for Law and Government. Hey, me too. You can save her life, man, and I can save yours. And what do you think I am? Some kind of doctor? Apparently not. So there you go, my80stv.com. Next up, Microsoft has just brought 1,300 retro games directly to Xbox. All thanks to Antstream Arcade. Arcade. You like wow. Ants, don't you? Oh. And streams. There she goes, pee pee. Um, here, here they all are. Well, not all of them. Couldn't fit them all on there. Anyway, next up. That, that's, what's his name? Purple Fractal. Michael Kite. <laughs> Purple Fractal. Um, so you remember a few months ago, I did the video of the 100% new Commodore 64, and it was mostly thanks to these brand new keycaps, which for the first time ever we had access to. But the other part of it was I showed prototypes and pictures of the JCIA and the JCPU, which were brand new replacements, which are the final chips that have never been refabricated or replaced in the Commodore. I got a few comments saying, oh, these have been shown for years and they've never materialized and clickbait. And but as I explained in the next video, which was this one, the reason I made the first video was to bring awareness to those chips, because when you get awareness, you get demand. And when you get demand, you get shops and factories. And lo and behold, I'm very pleased to announce that Retro 8-Bit Shop is now stocking the JCIA, maybe for your Christmas stocking. Um, you're they, still going to get people that are going to be like, fake. <laughs> well, it does, to be fair, it does say batch three currently in back order, but they've already shipped batches one and two. So, and you have shown and used them, so um, yeah. they're real. <laughs> well, they're real. I showed uh, a final prototype, but look, Retro Ape Shop have shipped to us the first ever one of the production line oh. of, of batch one. Um, we can obviously only film this once a month, so I'm only just showing you now. Yeah. Oh, you want to? You can have a lick, lick in a minute. Yeah. You want to lick, lick now? She's completely mesmerised by them, as am I. Look at that. And they even sent me two. Thank you so much for that. Because obviously you need two. One for me and one for you. Yeah. One for your left brain. One for the right brain. Do you know why the Commodore 64 uses two? Because two's better than one. But that's a fair. 
estimate. Uh, some of them are for keyboard and joystick and input output devices. Others are for disk drive access and user port and that kind of thing. So the answer is because it needs them. Yeah. <laughs> her, her speech bubbles have fell. This is how we generate her speech bubbles, if you didn't know on the channel. Manually. Yeah, we uh, Lady Fractic sews them on the Game Boy yeah. sewing machine. Here's what? another one. Uh, anyway, I digress. Thank you so much for sending us these. Um, they also send us, <laughs> she says no. They also send us a lovely letter saying um, very kindly that Retro Recipes inspires us to keep working on keeping the good retro scene alive. There's nothing better than a good old bowl of nostalgia flakes. But there's nothing better than a warm puppy. <laughs> It should only be fitting that you have experience arriving at the destination. That is awesome. Thanks for sharing those. That's they, so special. Yeah. Maybe give us a little Commodore pin. We'll pin that on you later. Yeah. Anyway, I think that's the end of, just confirm, that is the end of old news. That was old news. Which means up next is... Let's see what you mean. I'll see what she mean. He, I'm, they, they, them, mean. First up, Disney have again edited The Phantom Menace. Yes. <laughs> yes. 100% yes. Josie Fractic would love this. Feeling lucky. Punk. We'll handle this. So, um, we'll one of Josie Fractic's favorite comedy characters, right? Is Mr. Bean. Hello there. <laughs> Stop. Incidentally, we have that actual prop. The actual one only, up there. It's the wink. <laughs> oh. He looks so angry, doesn't he? That's just his face. <laughs> Darth Bean. Bean. Anyway, we get the idea with that next up. Realizing that if Back to the Future is made today, Marty McFly would be traveling back in time to 1993. <laughs> Oh. That's only four years before we filmed Phantom Menace. That's like yesterday. Uh, yeah. yeah. They say your life feels like it's getting faster because your frame of reference Is gets longer, la longer yeah. and larger. I don't feel that way personally, but maybe because I'm surrounded with everything I owned as a kid. What a spoilt brat. Anyway, moving on. Snake is back. This is the new version of Snake for the Nokia <laughs> yet to be invented phone. Oh my gosh. Nightmare fuel. I just think that's cool. Now, I made this. <laughs> You've got mail. <laughs> One of my first memes. I don't know what galaxy you're from, that's gotta hurt. <laughs> Next up. My dog out here sounding like he's connecting to dial-up. <laughs> that's impressive. Now, I would like to do a video connecting that dog to the phone line and see, if he can dial see out. what he connects to. He'd have to dial some numbers first. Let's see if it can handshake with a, you know, do ADTT, ADTD handshaking with a haze modem and see if it recognizes. He might say, you've, you've connected to DARPA. Would you like to play a game? War Games reference. Ah, yes. uh, incidentally, hi. Um, this is the Altair 8800 computer, very similar to the IMSAI 8080, which featured in War Games. It'll ask you whatever it's programmed to ask you. You want to hear it talk? Um, and it was actually a clone of this, but this is actually a clone of the original clone, one that was cloned. So it feels like I'm being attacked by the clones. It is Star Wars all over again. Next up. Ah! MF thinks he's Michael Jackson. Oh. So do you see we've got a theme here? Dogs, cats. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. And now... The payoff is coming. Yes. Uh, is that is that real? I've actually watched it a few times and I can't tell. He, he, That's how good he, he is. He could have been miming just holding it. That's very with funny. One arm. But when it comes to the CCTV, uh, he did beat it. He did. Sorry, that was bad. 
I was like, I, I enjoyed it. <laughs> Thank you. And finally, the end. Nothing. There is no more memes for this episode, which means it is time for... Um, home brews. In- incorrect, you're fired. She, she poured of your shenanigans. It is time for fun boxing. And first up, a fun boxing wouldn't be complete without a visit to Harley Fractic from the Game Closet. Back off. Do not approach. Harley Fractic! Harley Fractic! Give me the You and your partner are interesting people, Lieutenant. You play dress up and do nice things for people. Yes, we do. What's your point? I need your help, Lieutenant. What kind of help? Harley Fractic, Bunny Doe has the upper hand here. Smith in the bar. I decided to do the other thing you do. Do something nice. I saw it in the stinking box. The future, Lieutenant. You must send it far from here. We could send it the PCB way, where they get PCB starting at just five dollars. We don't need to send the box that far. The address is on the box. Lady Frantic, the future is now in your hands. Open the box. I don't have a box from them. Do you? Oh, hang on. Come on, puppy Frantic, let's go. I'll wait here. <laughs> get the lizard. Yeah. Say bye to the lizard. Five hours later. This was just hand delivered by the postman. Oh, it says to Baby Fractic. Before we open this, shall we get rid of the TV? Sounds good. Okay. Perfect. Oh, plonk it down there. Who are you calling a plonker? But you've got one minute. Oh, oh, okay. What were you going to say? I was going to say, she, she's indisposed right now. She can't open it herself. She's, um, yeah, she's indoors. Dear Mommy and Daddy Fractic, I am White Bunny's baby brother, Ozzy. Aww. I can't wait to snuggle with baby Fractic when she is big enough to snuggle with me. All of our love, Harley Fractic, Mr. and Mrs. HF Senior. <laughs> Harley Fractic Senior. Yeah, that's, well... I wasn't expecting that. Let's uh, let's open up. Oh. Oh. And he has the necklace. That's very sweet. Thank you so much. This is super soft. It is so soft. That is lovely. Oh, let's see. Um, in case you didn't know, our, our puppy Ozzy Fractic passed away a couple of months ago. Um, and they obviously uh, picked up on that and thought that would be a lovely gesture, and it is. I'm trying not to cry in case you're wondering why I'm stumbling my words. Thank you so much for this. This is um, beautiful. Press the press the no cry button. <laughs> that's probably it. That's extra <laughs> cry, but Michael Jackson style. Thank you, guys. We'll treasure this. And we won't be throwing it across the studio. No. Well, we can we can pretend just for the sound effects. Oh, sorry, uh, man, being eaten by crocodile. <laughs> anyway, next up, uh, I forgot to unbox these. These came with the JCIA chips. I don't know what you think it is, but I know what it is. You guys. Oh, this is cute. 10 input food, uh, a, a dollar, 20 print poop, a dollar. Let's go to bed. Yes. That's hilarious. Daddy Fractic, you <laughs> can do it. Leg, leg, arm, arm. <laughs> Very helpful, thank you. That'll be the first one I put on. That's awesome. Thank you so much, guys. All the guys from Retro 8-Bit Shop um, for thinking of us for that. Oh, These are so great. We could even get a little bib for us. There we go. Gotta pull the ears out. There you go. That's so good. Is that one Junior Fractic? No. Okay. Right. Real unboxings now. Usually we have one minute and we take way longer, but this time we have to really be one minute maximum for everything starting now wow wow we wow is that yours oh oh geez that's awesome so these are from nick nick 
um, and they are Tesla keys. So you basically, um, we actually decided to replace our wedding rings. So I'm take mine off if that's okay with you. I'll allow that. Oh, it's a bit, it's a bit tight. So this may not be replacing my wedding ring, maybe replacing this, no, replacing my finger. Thank you, Knick. And if you have a Tesla, check out their website. The links in the description. You can get your own Tesla key. Cheers. <laughs> Next, go. What is it? A brand new Atari game, oh. the Atari VCS. Again, a computer that's over 40 years old, getting brand new games, which I think, say what you like about Atari in its present form. We think they're amazing. And the fact that they're making these for the old VCS is, <laughs> is mind blowing. She, she groaned in, in a mind blown way. Um, should I go try it real quick? Sure. Okay. So it will mean taking out uh, the Empire Strikes Back. Got some personal George Lucas putting this in. <laughs> Mr. Ram and Chum. There it is. Okay. Is that you and Ginny? It's definitely me and Ginny. That's what we're doing this. Uh, I can indeed run and jump, confirmed. It's terrible. Why don't you just jump out? Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> I wanted to do it properly. Oh, dead. So the um, dog poops are Poop, bad. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Yeah, now you're spider. Run and jump for the Atari. Another new game. Mr. Run and jump to you. Sorry. Well, from that lovely gift from Atari to a gift that we gave to one of our patrons recently, and they had this to say. Hello, Perry Fractic, and hello, Lady Fractic, and hello, Puppy Fractic, and hello, Baby Fractic. Thank you so much for my computer. Look at that. Can you see? This is the take away thing. <laughs> and look. What are you trying to do? Change colours? It's really cool, isn't it? So, what well is your favourite color power fabric? A lady fabric. Bye, I love ya! <laughs> Mad as a hatter. Uh, mine is yellow, yours is. I love blue and orange. Two favourite colours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we gifted the keycap set that was gifted to us by Newfie in the last episode, meaning we better carry on with. I think we've got one more thing to show, yes? There's two, this and there's another one. Right. Two more things to show. So this very quickly, we're not going to open it up because we did show it uh, being opened by Adriana on the last episode. Having seen that, Josie Fractic and Jacob Fractic. Oh, sorry, I'm having a blonde moment again. Uh, they gifted us this as a, meant to be a, a baby shower gift, but it was actually for dad, which was yes. nice. Because I, I didn't expect anything and didn't, obviously didn't get anything, but this is this. fantastic, so I can't wait to open this up. And I want to show you guys first before I got into it. So there it is. <laughs> Just kidding. Now last up, we have this. This is from Gadget, Gadget Discovery, Discovery Club, Club because we got some gadgets last month from them. Mm -hmm. Now we put them in, in the baby room. This is the humidifier, which is going to be very useful. And the FU stands for full because the battery is full in case anybody sees that. What else would it stand for? Innocent face. <laughs> Anyway, very useful. And the smoothie maker, we're going to, when it's the right time, be using it to make um, baby food. Uh, but we've got one minute to show off this month's Gadget Discovery Club stuff, because Gadget Discovery Club allows you to banish everyday boredom with quarterly gifts that are extremely hard to unwrap. Here is this, this quarters. Uh, we're getting the monthly, don't worry. Each box is worth over $125. And what have we got? We got a Momo stick, which is a an adhesive. Um, it's a way to hold your phone and stand up your oh. phone. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. We got a wireless charger. Always handy. And we got a carbon fiber wallet called oh my. Shield. I just got goosebumps. Can you open that? I love those things. You do. Uh, you can, of course, if you don't like anything that you get, re-gift to relatives. And it, in a way, means you don't even have to think about buying birthday gifts. Uh, Grandma, again, if you're watching this, uh, I think you're hearing it's not working properly. 
it also gives you access to GDC Digital for discounts on epic brands like Samsung, Beats, and Alienware. Alien? Where? So there it is. Check out Gadget Discovery Club. Use the code Retro Recipes, and you'll get twenty dollars slash pounds off uh, your first purchase at the UK, Canada, or USA store. Thanks, Gadget Discovery Club. So uh, that's the end of unboxings, which means coming up next is homebrews. Ah, uh, it's homebrews. I I know that that was not correct. And first up, Jason Campbell writes, I wanted to get back into the C64 scene, but at the same time, keep my bread bin safe from harm. So I built a portable C64 all-in-one utilizing Randy Rossi's amazing BMC64. Friend of the channel, Randy Rossi, he also invented the VIC-2 squared. Not squared, that's mine. That's yours. The, the Kawari VIC-2 Kawari. I don't want to be promoted, but thought that you might get a kick out of it. I left a link to a crappy video. Thank you for the great work on Zap64, by the way. Oh, that's very kind, Jason. Thank you. Look Good. at the handles on the side. That's great. Yeah. I love the keyboard as well. Yeah. So it's probably the third or fourth um, portable Commodore 64 that we've seen now. And they're all so different and yeah. so stylized. Love it. Uh, if you want to buy some Commodore 64 games, for your Commodore 64 Portable, check out Zap64. Again, the link's in the description. I'm the editor now, would you believe? Which is just mind-blowing and ridiculous to me. But the mag isn't ridiculous, but only in the ways that it used to be ridiculous. Next up. Steve Ray writes, My attempt to recreate the retro games I grew up with back in the early days of video arcades. While I learned to code in Swift. Space in Raiders. Oh. I get it. I see. Have fun learning new skills and make new friends along the way who also have a passion for retro. Love it. So this, I think, is available on the iPhone app store. It's a really faithful recreation. <laughs> but not in a way that you could be sued for. <laughs> no. That's why it's Space and Raiders. Space and Raiders of the Lost Ark. No, that you would be sued for. <laughs> Coming soon. As they raids. Love it. Well done, Steve. Astro is the first game I ever owned on the Atari 400. Good stuff. So that is it for home brews, apparently, which means, would you like a nice, delicious, tasty bowl of nostalgia flakes? Mm. And first up, it's time for a trip to... The gallery. Exactly. Here's this little chappy. That's little Elliot. Ah, uh, from friend of the channel, Liam White. Hey, Liam, thanks for that. Little Elliot watching us. <laughs> Awkward freeze frame. Years passed, passion stayed. <laughs> Staying true to retro. Love it. So this is Bear. It's us again. Who is watching Ginny, who is watching... Um, Oh, Morgan Hetherington's Basil. Yes. <laughs> so there's three dogs in there. Love it. Good job, parents. Lore of the West. I never played that one. Looks pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So this came with a sticker that called it a future-proof PC. Oh, uh, where's the sticker? He had taken it off, but oh. he, he's thinking about taking it back and suing. Yeah. There's <laughs> a lot of suing in this episode. Classic haircut. Mullets, Amigas, Tact, two joysticks, and the Xenon 2 poster. Oh, yeah. Classic 80s. The Dom. Oh, the Theo dominating pinball on the Amiga 500. Good job, Theo. I think pinball is such a good choice for children because it really teaches you hand eye coordination. Yeah. And there's not much to it. Yeah, definitely. Um, well, Good job to everyone who submitted stuff that we featured this month. And uh, if you want to send in your submissions, the link is in the description of this very video. But next up, it's time for episode two. Devin, this is an LAPD investigation. I must say, it is lovely to see you again, Brian. Kid, are your scanners picking up Toretto's RX-7? I'm tracking each of Dom's crew, but can't get a fix on Toretto himself. Hang on. Here he comes. Cops aren't far behind, buddy. 
Loretto stopped on the first floor of the parking structure. Well, I'm not sneaking up on him, pal. You didn't get these custom parts from Harry at the racer's edge. Gentlemen, we're surrounded. Look, that's Johnny Tran. He's who you should be investigating, Michael. Face, why are you dressed like Michael Knight? Devon hired us to keep an eye on Toretto and Mike, not form a tribute band. Uh, good job. That's from Lampoonery again. There were so um, many amazing things in that. I am wondering if we're going to be really spoiled and get Airwolf in a future episode. Ooh. You can check out his whole playlist in our video description again uh, at his channel, Lampoonery. Very good. Next, from what, what did we have in there? Ah, oh, yes, Knight Rider, to a song that was not made famous by Knight Rider, but was famously used in Knight Rider. Yes. Do you know what it is? It's got to be the Halloween one. Incorrect, but we did feature that recently. We did. Is there another song? <laughs> there, are, there are two like hit songs that I always remember from Knight Rider. This is the next one, but played in a really cool way. Check this out. I forgot about that. Yeah. This is Alexander Misko. Doing and Careless Whisper. So clever. That is wild. And that is the end of our wild show. We'll let Alex play us out. And it just remains for us to say thank you so much for watching. Subscribe and support below and Cheerio! Cheerio! You're never gonna dance again. Guilty feet have got no rhythm.